Hey there, Laurel here with another Simply Card Making video for my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing some masking and color bursts using these stamps from the Ton Stamps. So to get started, I'm going to go ahead and ink up that beautiful dress. It could be a wedding dress, it could be a fashion dress, it could be whatever you want. I've gone ahead and stamped it once on some Inka Dinka Doo masking paper and I cut it out, that's over there to the left. And then I stamped it on some watercolor cardstock with some white ink from the Ton. It's a pigment ink so it stays wet longer. So I sprinkled on some white embossing powder and then I'm gonna go ahead and heat set that with my heat tool. So we're gonna be doing a paper mask and then we're going to be, uh, you'll see in a minute. So we're gonna be doing like masking two ways. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and heat set that and then we're good to go and then I'm gonna cut that out. I wanted to have a white outline for this particular dress. This dress is very, very easy to cut out by the way. So this is my little paper mask here. So I'm going to peel off that backing paper. Again, that's inka dinka doo. I like saying that. Uh, masking paper, inka dinka doo. And I'm going to stick that down onto my card base. I'm using all watercolored cardstock, by the way. Any watercolor cardstock you have in your stash will be fine. I'm going to press that masking paper down onto my card really tight. If you don't have that masking paper, use some really thin typing paper and uh, you can secure it down that way with some temporary adhesive or some post-it note paper, anything thin is key for masking. So I'm getting out my color box shoe box. I'm using Indigo and Merlot uh, color bursts today, and I'm going to be using some Perfect Pearls Mist. Uh, this is uh, an old bottle, so I've been refilling it with some of that Perfect Pearls powder, and then water, and then mix it together, and voila, you've got some Perfect Pearls. So I went ahead and wet the paper first, and then I'm tapping on some of this Indigo. It's a very intense powder. So they, these powders are very pigmented. I call, call them the powders with power. So I went ahead and tapped some on, and then I'm going in with some more of that Perfect Pearls and adding some more puddles there. You can do whatever you want. You can add more water, less water. You can use Perfect Pearls or not, whatever you want to do. Uh, you can also move it around with your heat tool. I'm going to do that in a few minutes. If you've got some puddles you don't like, just dab it up with a paper towel or a cloth or anything like that. So if I were to add some more water, it would kind of move more of that color around. It would be less intense, but I want some intensity and then I want some not intensity. It will dry a little bit lighter too, so don't be alarmed. Uh, you can see how it's already lightened up a little bit. Uh, don't be alarmed when you put it down at first. It will lighten up just a little bit. And because I use that Perfect Pearls Mist, it's real shiny and pretty. So this time I'm using the paper here. This is watercolor paper that we white heat embossed. I'm tapping on some of that Merlot just a little bit. Trying to keep it off of the face. I don't want her to have a Merlot face. <laughs> then I'm going in and kind of uh, angling my water just to get that Perfect Pearls. I'm using Perfect Pearls again. Then I'm taking my heat tool and moving that water around, which is what I meant a few minutes ago. So you can move the water around wherever you want it to be uh, with your heat tool. You could also let it dry naturally, whatever floats your boat. Uh, but here I wanted some of this Merlot. I think that Merlot is so pretty. I really do. So now I've got the indigo to the right, the Merlot to the left. I can save that mask for another time there. So now I've got that dress image there that we masked off. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp that uh, stamp set. I'm pulling out my mini Misty here. I find that I use this a lot more than the regular sized Misty because I mostly make cards. So I'm going to line up my stamp where I want it, press down that hinge door to pick up my stamp. And I didn't know what I want, what color I wanted to use for the dress. So I'm going to go ahead and de-static my, uh, that color burst can still be a little bit wet. So I went ahead and used a little de-staticky thingamabob here. It's called the embossing buddy. And that will help my embossing powder to stick just where I want it to stick, just where that Versa mark is. So I decided... I wanted some black. I wanted the dress to be black with some shimmer. So this is like some shimmery black embossing powder I have in my stash here. Then I'll go ahead and heat set that with my tool. Any, any excess powder you have where you don't want it, you can take a brush and brush it away. So this gives it a little bit of a sparkle in that black. Very, very just subtle. All right. So now they, this stamp set also has some flowers. You can dress up the, the fashion dress here. You can make it a wedding dress or fashion dress, whatever you want to do, whatever floats your boat. So I'm going to stamp some of those floral images down there at the bottom of the dress. I'm going to use that same black embossing powder. So pretty. So stinking pretty. I want to dress like this. If I had this figure, I would wear this dress. But I don't. So anyway, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and heat set that. And then they've got another little floral image on the... Uh, on the stamp set here that goes right at the top. 
So I'm going to stamp that too. The All the supplies that I'm using will be linked in my YouTube video and over on my blog. My blog will also have more still photos of these projects here. These stamps are from the latest ton release, by the way. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp that. Isn't that dress pretty? I think it's so stinking pretty. I just want to wear it, you know? But anyway, okay, so it's time to put these little beauties and put them onto cards. So what I'm going to do, I've got the one over there to the left that we created with the Merlot. And then to the right was just the color indigo. Look, look how all those, you've got some Merlot. You've got all these different colors, little purples that pop out from these colors. I think these color bursts are just stinking fabulous. All right, so I'm going to take some adhesive and I'm going to try to figure out how to use it. <laughs> I do that every time. I always start the wrong way. Anyway, I'm going to slap that down onto the back of my watercolored panel here and then I'm going to put this on a black card base. I'm going to have a little bit of the card base, that black hanging off to the left there. That shows a nice border. It'll tie in with the black embossing powder and also the sentiment here. I'm going to stamp the sentiment with some onyx black versifying ink. I love this ink. It's nice and crisp and black. It's perfect. So it says, congratulations on your special day. And I love the font. I think it's so pretty. Now it's time to work on this other piece here. So I'm going to take this little panel here. And I didn't put any flowers on this one. I didn't think it needed. I think that dress is so pretty. So you can see how uh, you can stretch these stamps to create different, you know, different looks, different styles of your, of your wardrobe here. <laughs> I wish I had a closet this fashionable. <laughs> anyway, I'm taking that watercolored piece there and I'm putting some adhesive on the back of it. And I'm going to hear that right down to the card base there. That is some steel gray card stock. And then I'm going to figure out what sentiment to use. I decided to use the same sentiment from the previous card. It's mounted already on my Misty, so I'm going to go ahead and take my mini Misty out. I'm going to have to scooch my card over to the right just a little bit uh, because that was mounted for my card previously. I'm going to ink that up with some Hampton White Pigment Ink. That's also from the 10. It says, congratulations on your special day. And I love the sentiments and the fonts in this set. This is some Hero Arts White Fine Embossing Powder. So I am... Uh, you know, sprinkling that on. And I did not use my anti-static tool. Uh, and you can see the powder got everywhere. So I went ahead and wiped some of that off with a paintbrush and then heat set it. But when I wiped some of the powder off with the paintbrush, I accidentally wiped some of the powder off the words. So I'm taking my white gel pen and I'm just filling in all those blanks. So nobody's going to know I made that boo-boo. Well, except for you guys, because I kept it in the video. But um, anyway, yeah, I'm just going to fill that in with that white gel pen, and you won't ever be able to tell. So learn from my mistakes and use your little embossing buddy or your anti-static tool or kitchen flour or baby powder or whatever. So your embossing powder sticks where you want it to stick. So I'm going to grab some of the sequins by the ton. I'm going to use the glass sequins here. And that little case is something I found on Amazon. I'll be sure to link to it below. But I store all of my sequins and, and uh, beads and all that stuff in those little things there. I'm going to adhere this down with some multi-matte medium. Now, I never show placement sequence on uh, videos because I'm not good at it. I don't know where it's supposed to go. I know you're supposed to do a visual triangle and all this stuff, but I never get it right. But this time I decided to show you. I don't know if this is the right way to adhere the sequence, but that's what I'm doing. I'm using the multi-matte medium because it dries completely clear. So when any of that glue gushes out the sides, it'll be completely clear and you'll never know the difference. And as a finishing touch, I covered up that dress with the mask that I cut out. And I'm going to flick on some white flicks here. This is Hero Arch Unicorn White. Just to tie into the sequins in case I didn't put them in the right spot. I don't know. I'm such a terrible sequin placer. <laughs> and that's the two cards for today. So I'm using some masking, the Ken Oliver Color Bursts, and Indigo and Merlot. And then all of the stamps and the sequins are from the Ton Stamps. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. It's Friday. Happy Friday to you all. Have a great day. Day. See you next time. Bye-bye.